Hey, it's Dragonfeather, and this is going to be kind of a random video on tarot um, tarot cards. It's not going to be like how to use them, because to be honest with you, I'm completely clueless how to use them. Um, I mean, I have the main idea of it, but I was at Barnes & Noble with my dad yesterday, and we were in the section, the New Age section, which is where I'm normally at, um, because I love it over there, and they have a whole shelf of um, tarot cards and oracle decks, and so I was looking at them, and um, this one kind of just called to me, uh, like a lot of my things have before. An example would be my citrine point that ting, like it, like, I can't hold it for too long, otherwise my hand starts to fall asleep. It's kind of weird. Um, but anyway, um, I got the Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. It's, um, mich, mer, it sounds French. Um, and, or Italian. I'm not quite sure, um, but the back of them looks like this. And I'm just going to show you the the um, High Arcana, or the Higher Arcana. Arcana, rah, 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 rah. Alright, um, I'm just going to kind of go through them kind of fast. But here's the Fool. It says the fool right there. And I've been curious about tarot. Like, I'm like, dude, does it work? I don't know. It's a form of divination. Um, I don't know, but this deck called to me, and beforehand, this is a magician, by the way. Um, I don't know. I just didn't really get it. The High Priestess. Um, some of these cards I really like, and some of them I don't exactly know what the meaning is behind. The Empress. The Emperor. I think this is pronounced the Hierophant. Um, hmm, I don't know. This is kind of... Shh, I'm gonna get flagged for this. No, just kidding, just kidding. Um, the Lovers. Ooh. I had to do that. The Chariot. And the reason why I bought this deck is because I'm making my own deck, and I'm gonna show you one of the cards that I'm working on right now. Um, and I'm gonna paint them and stuff and laminate them when I'm done. And It's gonna take a while, but I'll show you guys. Strength. The Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune, sorry, if you guys watch Wheel of Fortune, I do because I like old shows, <laughs> Justice, The Hanging Man, when I, whenever I see The Hanging Man, it makes me want to play Hangman with my friends because we play it a lot, because I'm a nerd, Death, Temperance, The Devil, The Tower, I really like this one, The Star, even though she's naked. Ooh, I actually might get flagged for that. Yes, hey, no. The Moon, The Sun, Judgment, and The World. And that's the High Arcana, or the one that came with this deck. Um, I don't know if they differ from every deck because I'm really, really not into it. But um, I got like a beginner's thing. Um, and this is the thing it came with to help me like understand them. And it goes like, it has pictures of each of the cards and like what they mean. So it should be helpful. And then in the beginning it like, oops, this is the like layout thing it gave me. Um, it like goes over some history and some stuff of tarot. Um which is kind of interesting. So I have yet to read this. Um, I haven't started. I was planning on starting today, but I had no time at school because I was making up tests and rah, rah, rah. And this is the box it came in. I opened it upside down because I'm smart like that. And I'm so mad. They glued the box wrong and, like, it won't go in and, like, the cards fall out. So this is my bag that I put them in because usually you're like, you're supposed to put them in a silk bag, right? And I'm like, oh, I know. Um, and I told you I'm working on a tarot deck for myself. Um, this is just the sketch of it, and then I'm gonna go over it in like black marker and paint and all that, um, and crayons or maybe possibly I don't really know. Um, but this, the only one I've worked on is the lovers, and um, all I used and be careful. All I used was regular index cards that are blank on both sides, and actually some of these have lines on them. 
because I use these for my school flashcards because my teacher requires me to do like 70 flashcards each week and it's annoying. Um, but I don't use the blank ones and I haven't counted them, but that looks like it's probably 50-60, which is pretty close to a full deck. Um, but anyway, what you do, I haven't had any of them completely finished. But what you do is you're going to take just a regular index card and beforehand you're going to sketch out what you want to draw on it and then you're going to draw it on the card, you're going to draw designs around it, anything that means things, like I drew the female and the male symbol, some hearts, and then um, I honestly put the ribbon around them, not only to symbolize them being together and being in passion or in love, um, but to also censor her butt. I didn't want... I didn't want it to be naked, so I didn't want to, like, draw a naked person, so there's two different meanings. And then I wrote, um, lovers in cursive. Pretty cursive. It's the only, lover, love or lovers is, like, the only word I can write nice in cursive. So that'll be the only card that's in cursive. And then what you do after that is you're gonna go, um, in, like, with all the lines that you want, you're gonna outline them in a black, fine-tipped, um, or fine point black marker um, and you can buy those um, I recommend not using a sharpie one um, they have one that are from Papermate and I love those um, mine are all out of ink because I use them all the time but yeah and then what you're gonna do after that um, like see the hearts I'm not gonna go over the hearts in black felt tip because I'm going to take I have these little tubes of glitter that are really really fine point and I'm gonna go over the hearts and glitter and color them in with um, either red marker or red pastel because my sister left me all her art supplies and I have tons of them. I might even paint it red. Um, and then you can either add like rhinestones or sparkles, just go all out if you want and then what you're going to do when you're done is you're going to laminate it. And um, because these are so flimsy, um, I recommend to make them more, um, besides the lamination, to make them more like strong or more sturdy um, to put a backing on it as well, not just draw a backing on the actual index card. Um, what I plan on doing is taking tin foil and on the tin foil I'm going to um, draw like the triple goddess on the top, the god symbol on the bottom, um, and either the pentacle or the triquetra in the middle. Um, I haven't decided. I might do the triquetra and then the pentacles on the corners. Um, but I'm going to take like either gold or silver, like either aluminum foil, aluminum foil would be cheap, um, and then like glue it either with super glue, gorilla glue, um, I've heard of monster glue, I don't know if you guys have, um, or tacky glue. I wouldn't use Elmer's glue and a glue stick is not going to do anything. So yeah, and you can put these through laminating machines, I would not do that. Or you can hand laminate them where you can buy the sticky stuff that sticks on one side, sticks on the other side, you press them together, and then you cut off the excess, which is what I plan on doing. Um, this is kind of a random video on tarot, like I said, my tarot. I think I'm just going to... how to make tarot cards, I guess. Um, not really step by step, but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that I have a tarot card deck, and I'm going to be making... Um, I'm going to learn how to use these, and then I'll make a video on how to use them so you guys can use them. Um, and I'll probably, like, uh, briefly go over, like, the High Arcana, um, do, like, a thing of the High Arcana, the pentacles, the suits, you know, and what they mean or whatever. Um, but, yeah, uh, until next time, blessed be, and I hope this helped, and I encourage you guys to make your own tarot deck. I only got a tarot deck for reference and to learn how to use them. So... Yeah, I hope this helped, and until next time, blessed be, and have fun making tarot cards, guys. Bye!